Proverbs chapter 21, please. Proverbs chapter 21 continues to emphasize the need for strength in a believer's journey. 21, Proverbs 24, I beg your pardon, verse 10. Proverbs 24, verse 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, the diagnosis is that what? Your strength is small. Modern cars, very modern cars, are so equipped that when the fuel is getting to reserve, certain features that use the fuel will minimize or stop working. Is that true? The AC may be minimized, the capacity as proof that the fuel is going down. And when you refill it again, you find out that all of those futures are back. It's a system of conserving what is left so that the car will not die. And the Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. The first revelation I want you to get is that among the many days in a man's life, there is a day called the day of adversity. Jesus said, this is your hour and the power of darkness. It's a message to strengthen the body of Christ because for many people, our lives and our experiences have not been exactly the best in the midst of all the joy and the celebration there are people right now who have been bereaved there are people right now who um, have lost jobs have lost opportunities i got a text um i think this afternoon or so while i was praying about a family who had been praying for a dead corpse for a few days still believing that that dead body will come back to life now it's very difficult to teach these kinds of things because believers um it is not in in our normal human um it is not a normal desire to want to admit that days like this are part of the days in a man's life it is difficult for you to think that a day can come when you will stand before a corpse of your loved one it is difficult for you to think that one day you will stand and watch your eviction letter from a landlord everybody wants to be positive everybody wants to move forward it is difficult for you to stand and then get a doctor's report that you thought your wife was pregnant and she wasn't pregnant it is difficult to get a report that tells you you have cancer and the cancer is dying your kidney has failed and all of that and most believers are not mentored into the spiritual system allocated by which the saints remain strong are we blessed yes this is the reason why several people when they confront challenges in their lives when they confront things that negate their faith when their prayers and their expectations don't come to pass many are discouraged many are depressed many leave god many even die tonight's message will bless you in no small way and add it to the spiritual archives of your life because for as long as you live you will need it one day hallelujah as a man of god i've had the privilege to weep with many families who have lost their loved ones people have lost jobs people have celebrated people have done all kinds of things and sometimes it's very difficult to let believers see and sometimes we preachers especially for us that god has granted grace to walk in the miraculous and to walk in the truths of the word of god it's difficult to also create space in our teaching where we help people understand that it is not unusual when believers pass through turbulent times in their lives and their family is usually not a message that is very accepted it is not pleasant and so when the believer is now sick when the person now has an accident when something happens it becomes difficult to explain are we blessed if you faint in the day of adversity your strength is small hallelujah psalms 46 
and then verse 1 to 3. Please write it down. Psalm 46, verse 1 and 3. Look up while I read. It says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Verse 2. It says, Though therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed. Now, I don't know what the psalmist was thinking in his mind. <laughs> but I'm a very creative person. When I read the Bible, I take it seriously. Though the earth be removed do you know what that means that the earth is removed then we stand on what <laughs> are we together now he says and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea verse 3 though the waters thereof roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof he says God is our refuge and our strength one more scripture and then we'll discuss a few things. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. Paul is speaking to the church in Philippi. And this is what he says. I can do all things. But he says I can only do them through the strength that Christ gives. It takes strength to do all things. It takes strength to build a house. It takes strength to build a company. It takes strength to build a marriage. It takes strength to build your spiritual life. It takes strength to go from glory to glory. And Paul is saying, I can only do all things by the strength that Christ supplies. That means outside of that strength, I may not be able to do many things that my destiny require. This is very important. These scriptures all show us that believers need strength. Everybody says strength. In fact, the Bible says in Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32, it says, But the people, the B part now, that do know their God, one of the rewards for knowing God in a believer's life is strength. Hallelujah. Strength. Let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. It takes a while for the word of God to prevail over a man's life for results to begin to be produced it takes a while for church to grow it takes a while for the business to grow that staying power to push and to remain until the word prevails is what many believers lack and sadly sometimes we preachers in a bit to challenge and encourage people we continue to make people feel that the moment the word of god does not work immediately something may be wrong with your faith so when the person cannot pay his or her rent, once the person cannot pay his or her bills, sometimes they get, um, they get into that mold that begin to suggest that they do not love God. It is not so. Strength is required. It is a finisher's requirement in this kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's discuss the concept of weariness. I studied this and it blessed me in no small way. The Bible lets us know that men can be weary. That the moment you are a mortal man on earth, the possibility of exhaustion, the possibility of discouragement, the possibility of being depressed by the vicissitudes of life is something that can always catch up with you. Are we together now? Psalm 23 from verse 1 and verse 3. The reality of weariness. Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And then when you go to verse 2, it says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. The revelation is in verse 3. He restored my soul. That means the soul of a man can need restoration. The same way your body needs rest. A time can come you are fagged out by all the things that happen in life. All men can be weary. Pay attention to this revelation. It is a very powerful one. Isaiah chapter 40, popular scripture from verse 29. In fact, let's start from verse 28. 
it says has thou not known has thou not heard forty twenty eight, that the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth fainted not neither is he weary so he's talking about weariness he says there is no searching of his understanding 29 he says he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might he increased strength are we together now so this scripture show that men can be weary one time jesus carrying the burden of the cross he got to gethsemane and the bible says that he prayed and the prayer was like drops of blood and then from thence he carried the cross and on his way to golgotha at a point he fell down with the cross to the point that they had to get a man called simon of cyrene the nigger to help him leave the cross otherwise he would not be able to get to golgotha are we together now yes Moses was weary one time and he said Lord I don't know the kind of people you have anointed me to lead these people are a stiff necked people right now I tell them God is saying this they rejoice tomorrow they stand before the sea and they point to me and say Moses you are the reason we would have eaten cucumber and and locusts and all of that at least it was better now you are taking us to a supposed promised land we are standing before the Red Sea and Moses said Lord you know what please come and handle this your people so men can be weary Elijah the prophet when a woman was pursuing him he ran one time and hid and then he didn't know what to do with his life and the guy was tired Jonah's own was even a disturbing situation because Jonah literally knowing that a man cannot run away from God Jonah opted to run and <laughs> Jonah's running was legitimate why was it legitimate he said god i know you are a merciful god after these wicked people finish punishing me i now go and preach they will fast they will repent and you will act you are wasting my time so that i will become the scapegoat and jonah was on his way he now entered a boat caused trouble in the boat and the people casted lots and they said you know what we're going to throw this man out and then right he goes to the belly of the fish men can be weary Elijah was receiving supernatural supplies at Brook Cherith. One day the Bible says the brook dried. Hmm. The brook dried. So the reality of the weariness of men is something that we must get used to it. Listen, believers can be exhausted. Know this and let it be factored in your Christian experience as you walk with God. That it is not unspiritual to get to a point in your life where you become exhausted you can be exhausted over your children's school fees a parent one day can look at his child and say ah, why, why did these children how did i even allow these children come and sometimes you feel guilty and you feel bad it is the reality of weariness are we together now yes house rent they slash your salary by half they increase your salary by they increase your house rent by double and you stand before your landlord and you don't know what to tell him what sermon do i now preach to this man my brothers and my sisters let me tell you this when believers become weary we must sustain the intelligence on how to navigate you are a man of god you are anointed but nobody is placing a demand on your grace hmm. You go to a crusade and finish preaching, you make an altar call after three hours of preaching and only two people stroll out. As though they are pitying you. They just stroll out and stand and you ask them to pray the salvation prayer, they don't even pray it. And you stand there, Lord, did you call me or what, what is, if you didn't call me, just tell me, I will politely look for something else to do. Men can be very, very weary. I remember one time, a particular gentleman was preparing for his his marriage and um, you know God will make a way pushing things and then a point God he became Kai apostle I said just just push forward there is grace I mean the finishers anointing is a possibility in the kingdom <laughs> but honestly speaking he got to a point where it was about one week to the wedding and uh, 
the bills were a mountain that were refusing to move and everybody can prophesy and say i saw your wedding happening already but it's true in the realm of the spirit but now the possibilities to make it happen in the physical realm didn't seem to be there and up until four or so days i remember having to call the gentleman and to encourage him and to say look don't worry god is faithful there is god that sits in the heavens many years ago another gentleman was preparing for his marriage and three days to the wedding he refused to go to the city where he would get married yes i mean he just had to just lord i don't know what you would do with me but it's three days to my marriage there are bills house rent i've seen it squash people ministry when you have a crowd of people five thousand ten thousand and then everything begins to go down and you can barely have 500 what happens when these kinds of seasons come in your life praise the lord so weariness is a reality with all men and this is why we need strength now i have identified from scripture two major causes of weariness please pay attention there are two major causes that can make believers any individual to be wary number one according to scripture is hope deferred proverbs chapter 13 please and verse 12 give it to us media let's hurry up hope deferred the bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick but when the desire comet it is a tree that can minister life so one of the reasons why people can be exhausted one of the reasons why people can be um, discouraged and broken is prolonged expectation. Listen very carefully. Hope deferred can literally make the heart. The word heart there is spirit. The Bible says a man's spirit can break, not just a human body. If your body is broken, the doctor can treat it. If your soul is broken, a therapist can psychologically manage you but when your spirit is broken the bible says no man is able to be it are we together now hope deferred results that you expect in your life do not come you expected that at age 30 you would have built a house you expected that by the time you have four children you should be financially free you expected that by the time you are 10 years in ministry you should be established and have membership when hope is deferred it can torture the heart are we blessed the number one reason why believers get worried let me tell you this we are beings of results let me use you and we desire advancement everybody say advancement this gentleman there is an instinct in him to continue to make progress that means that this year or this month next year or next month there should be progress by the time an individual is caused whether by life or whatever it is to either retrograde or stagnate it is dangerous the bible says it can do something to you that no man can bear are, are we together now yes there are people who you know reach me and send me text messages and say apostle i am tired and frustrated i've been in ministry you know when this brother was sharing his testimony i sat back there and i was just nodding my head because it is painful when you tell people the call of god is upon your life and there are no results to testify results are powerful results validate many things among them that you are operating by laws correctly among them that you are in the will of god so when results when your life is barren of results it can do something to your heart hallelujah praise the lord i once prayed with a family that were trusting god for a miracle for their child they had a child but the child had a condition that was a very serious thorn in the flesh for the family very young boy i mean he could go wild and even injure his siblings very blessed man but that thing was just there and i remember when i wanted to pray for them and i was encouraging them um i closed my eyes to pray and then i opened my eyes and i saw the man still looking at me 
Now, you may laugh. It's not unbelief. It is what weariness can do to the spirit. How many of you have gone to several men of God for prayer? They've prayed and prophesied and said it is done. And then the next time, I see it here sometimes when I'm praying for people on the queue. Oh Lord, I pray that, you, and, and the person, you, you know, he's just looking at you and just saying, look, just finish this prayer and let me go. Lazarus had been there three days. And when Jesus came, he said, I know in the resurrection when everything is gone. You know, I've told you that I've been kept a few times in the mortuary alone to pray for dead bodies. And it's an experience that is quite interesting because you will stretch your faith and watch a dead body immovable, sometimes already embalmed, and you don't know what to do there. You end up thinking about your own life in that, in that mortuary. I mean, that's the most profitable thing you can do because the body is, if you tell someone stand up from a wheelchair, at least he can move his leg. It's just that the leg is not strong. But you speak to a dead body and you are even afraid of a dead body answering. <laughs> are we together? If the dead body actually answers, remember the door is closed for security reason. Blessed be God. Hope deferred. Financial expectations, especially now in Africa and Nigeria. My God, the way this finance thing is doing people and the kinds of depression, depression, that someone can just stand by the road and just look at life and take a deep breath, go home, sit on a chair and die. Nothing exactly wrong, just the reality of life. Hallelujah. So we are beings of results and we are beings of progress. And the moment your life, listen, cannot attain onto certain levels of progress within an appreciable period of time, it is true that weariness can set in. The first reason, hope deferred prolonged expectations the second reason from scripture why weariness sets into the lives and the destinies of people is called sorrow write it down please sorrow sorrow are we together what is sorrow? A feeling of deep distress. A feeling of deep distress that is caused by losses, caused by disappointments, caused by misfortune. A feeling of deep, dis deep distress caused by loss. Could be loss of a loved one. Could be loss of a job could be disappointment you expected admission like some of you probably you expected the final year result to come out with you completely done and now you are seeing an extra year there sorrow and sorrow has symptoms let me list for you two or three of them number one is sadness you can interpret sorrow by the sadness that is in the heart of a man number two you can interpret sorrow or you can discern sorrow by depression human beings just become depressed they have no inspiration to aspire at life again nothing is ever worth their energy or strength sorrow rise up let's pray again it's no use rise up let's build a company again it's no use rise up as the one who is now left to take care of your siblings it's no use sadness depression downheartedness i have met very discouraged uninspired people in this life and i've been shocked and broken by their approach to life they can be on the road passing and a car is honing and it makes no difference to them whether they die or leave as far as they are concerned they are dead 
There are people like that. An example of such a person was Mephibosheth in the Bible. Mephibosheth had to come to terms with the reality of his being crippled and the fact that he would never have the opportunity to make any good out of his life again. I hope you understand that in the days of Mephibosheth, there was no technology to draw inspiration from anybody. That guy was left there. So when King David sent for him, hear his response. Oh king, what do you have to do with a dog? When a man calls himself a dog, let me tell you, one of the characteristics of sorrow is you begin to name yourself what God did not call you. Life can push you down to a point where you start calling yourself what God has not called you. I am good for nothing. You can tell yourself. I cannot amount to anything. I am the worst in my family, you hear people say. I am the black sheep. No inspiration to aspire for a life that is great. People admit defeat and sit back there. And then before you know it, their lives fold. Because they do not sustain a superior revelation again. There are people who have packed up ministry. And just said, you know what? This ministry thing, I quit. It's over. I've tried there are people who have packed up businesses after failing 10 15 times they just say you know what i've done my best there are people who have given up on their children i'm sorry i can't pay your school fees i can't take care of you do whatever you want to do with your life sorrow is a very serious thing i've had the opportunity to comfort families that have lost loved ones and sometimes no matter what you are saying the mother or the father is just looking at you they want to believe what you are saying they hope one day they will believe it but for that moment they don't are we together yes i think the admission list just came out or so for i think abu or i don't know which of the institutions and there were people who probably didn't get admission in the list that was released and some of them continued i i read some of their text messages and honestly tears were almost coming to my eyes because some of them said apostle 11 years apostle seven years apostle this one this one sorrow is a reason why weariness can eat a man like a cancer and you become a shadow of yourself because you are sorrowful so hope deferred and sorrow are two biblical causes of the weariness in men no wonder our world today is filled with depressed men medical people will tell you the volumes of drugs that are consumed especially by men do you know why because the inability to be able to provide the inability to be able to be there sometimes can so discourage the man he stands and says well i know i'm good for nothing i know i'm not able to take care of my wife and family and because of that they draw conclusions and like mephibosheth even when the king is calling they say don't call a dog call men I am a dog. Hallelujah. This is very powerful. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve. Serve you with my life. Serve you with my worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, bow in worship, bow in worship. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve, to serve you with my life, to serve you in worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, to bow in worship, 
bowing worship there are times that you're reducing yourself is to honor God but there are times that reducing yourself is because life has made you so life has beaten you to a point where you do not see that you can stand again there are times when you are a king but you put your golden crown so that you will worship but there are times it is not worship it is just life that has hit you down there are times you go on your knees because you are worshiping God but there are times you go on your knees because you do not see any hope in life again are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve, to serve you with my life, to serve you in worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, but I choose to bow. Bow my heart. I will never forget many years ago when one of our precious ones in this ministry went to be with the Lord. She was a leader, served God with all her heart, loved God. She was so dear to me, I loved her with my whole heart. And she quickly just went to do something and returned back. And I remember I was counseling someone. When a call comes to me, and then my attention is needed. And then they break the news that this is my most precious, precious daughter has transited to go to be with the Lord. I remember how I thought about it and I said, oh boy. I remember when God granted me the privilege to visit with the family and I held the mother and the mother began to sing and the mother began to encourage us and the mother began to rejoice I said stamina that's what it's called you know a man's level of spiritual dexterity not when things are happening but sometimes is when nothing is happening. Do you have the staying power when the word of the Lord is yet to come through in your life? Do you have the staying power when the church has not opened up? Do you have the staying power when you are fasting and praying and the anointing does not seem to come upon your head? You watch all your colleagues and contemporaries already walking in certain dimensions, but for you, it is not there. You watch all your colleagues with jobs, some of them becoming managers, and here you are, after 15, 17 years, you are still looking for a job. Weariness, sorrow can set in. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Yes. Let me teach you very quickly before we pray how to be strengthened in this kingdom. I show you keys that you will hold and your life will remain an unending wonder. I show you keys that you will hold and you will defeat life and beat it at its game. How to be strengthened. Number one. The first key to draw strength in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God. Write it down. The first key that is allocated by which we draw strength from in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. We'll look at a few scriptures very quickly. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. Behold! what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not behold what manner of love let me tell you something the revelation of the love of god is therapeutic 
is a wonder that when you stand and look at life and the awareness that the monarch of the universe has invested his love upon you is a revelation that if understood can change your life hallelujah people have received calls from presidents people have received calls from diplomats i've had a few calls in my life from great people prominent people and i can tell the excitement in my heart wow this person that person was able to reach out to me i mean it, it's very comforting and blessing when the great reach out to you it does something that is comforting and healing and then the monarch of the universe looks down on you no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me it's a revelation you must have there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me is found in Jeremiah 31 and verse 3 powerful revelation in a world of wickedness in a world of selfishness in a world that is governed by interest it is a revelation to know Jeremiah what did I say chapter please search for me I hope we got it right I have loved thee with an everlasting love that's right therefore with loving kindness have i drawn thee it's a revelation after the grace this my adorable children will be here lined up to give me a wonderful hug and how i've so missed them and every time i hug every one of these children i look at their eyes and i see the confidence they have in fatherhood this is what the Bible is saying. I have loved thee. Do you know what it means to have an everlasting love? I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Huh. This is the God of heaven. Believers, hear me. You will draw strength for the journey, for your ministry, for your life, for your children. When you understand this, it is true. Would you dance with me, your lover, of my soul, to the song of all songs? Preacher, hear me. Businessman, hear me. Dance with me. Of my soul to the song of all songs. Powerful revelation. The Bible says in First Corinthians chapter two and verse nine that eyes have not seen. Koinonia, hear me. God is comforting someone. Yes, have not heard. Neither has it been revealed to the heart of any man what God has in store for them that love him. There is a dealing with God that is in the realm of lovers. 
that God loves you so much he can sit down and think about you and plan something for your life that will make you a wonder and a shock please do not forget that when it comes to the sovereignty of God God is not a man it's a revelation I want you to hear God is not limited by the limitations of men men are limited in knowledge men are limited in time men are limited in strength but there is one who is called the monarch of the universe and that when he decides to stand up and bless you and lift you he will supply the strength and he will lift you the same way you press a button and a lift begins to rise is someone being edified tonight the revelation of the love of God Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says for we know we are privy to an information in the in the kingdom we know that all things not some things all things work together please hear me you lost a loved one I know it is painful but hear me you lost money you lost business your expectations disappointed let me tell you we know they may not know but we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called. Everything in a man's life is navigated by the love of God to square up to purpose and destiny. This is the wonder of the love of God. Hallelujah. Mm. Moses ran away from the Egyptians and he went to the backside of the mountain thinking he was running away from Egypt he did not know he was running to the place of encounter where he will meet the burning bush mm. very powerful it's amazing how God navigates men through the path of destiny it's amazing how many times you don't even know you are led yet you are led in the midst of your confusion the finger of the ancient of days is upon you in the midst of your cluelessness about life yet he is guiding you by his spirit and then when you see the wonder of his intelligence you will stand back and join people and say you are truly the monarch of the universe i have seen this with my life this is how koinonia started i have seen this at different seasons of my life let me tell you something do not stand the way of the wisdom of god over a man that he loves do not stand the way of the wisdom of god the intelligence of god is so thorough he ensures that you win the love of god everybody say the love of god let it be a revelation that is in your heart don't give room and allow the devil to take advantage of your life and spy upon your liberty no stand in the strength of the revelation of the love of God for we know look at this one day you will need this scripture sooner or later for we know man of God hear me for we know businessman father for we know apostle I lost my father and my mother this year I know it is painful it doesn't make sense but watch the intelligence of the one who designed the heavens and the earth listen anytime your life looks clueless tell yourself keep watching I've never had the opportunity to be okay well I had once I'm confessing now once in a drama group when I was in primary school so fortunate I acted a rich man I will never tell you the name I know how bad you people are you will not forget the name when I say it. they called me a wonderful name they gave me pieces of paper and leaves I was a politician in that drama I would spray money and people would clap for me and so on and so forth that was the only time I remember okay well and then a few other Christmas dramas here and there but there's something I know about acting that there is someone called a movie director the movie director is the one invested with the intelligence of producing that movie sometimes the actors do not even understand the stretch they just know that in that movie you are acting you you will die <laughs> in jesus name sam is refusing <laughs> you, you will not die in jesus name 
Are we together now? Yes. Do you know what it means to be mindful of a man? That means you sit down and invest your thought. To understand this, you must understand architecture. While you are talking to an architect, he's thinking, okay, so what do you want? I want a house. Let me prophesy someone's house already. I want... Hey, oh, sit down, sit down. Canal people. We are dealing with serious issues this night. Are we together? And you are telling the architect, okay, I need it a duplex. I need three parlors, one for business, one for family, one for this. I need a kitchen as large as a living room. I need this. And while you are describing it, the architect, watch this. The architect is intelligently, he's, he's adding imagery to what you are saying. And even things you want that you don't know, by reason of his experience, he now, he's, he's, he's filtering your amateur communication and he's adding his intelligence on it. This is what this guy meant to say. While you are talking, your heart too is talking and he's listening to both of them and capturing them in the design of that house. When he's done and he brings you and you stand, you say, if I were to draw it, it would not look like this. Beauty glory elegance this is what the bible means that when god sits down in designing your destiny he designs it thoroughly with his intelligence he designs it in such a way that insists that you arrive have you seen architects design buildings and later on they find out that ah this soil the topography is not conducive and they say no problem they have to make adjustments but that building must come out I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the blueprint and the design for your destiny it must be actualized in your lifetime in the name of Jesus the son of the living God please sit down sit down every building does not look like it till it's finished every preacher does not look like it till God is done with him every worshiper does not look like it Everybody say the love of God. It's a powerful revelation. That God loves me. You know, I have, I think in the last, I don't know how many years now, it has become a deep revelation. Some, sometimes, I think in life, eh, as you grow in ministry, in leadership, and in age, certain truths of scripture begin to crystallize in you again. Are we getting blessed? Please settle with the love of God. Because there are some of you here, look at me. Your fathers, your mothers, your loved ones, and everybody has concluded about you. And you may not know the effect of that thing in your life until you get to a point where you just say, can anything good come out of Nazareth? But the love of God. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, Reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me. Listen, listen to what you are singing. Oh, it chases me down. Fights till I'm found. Leaves the 99. That's strange. I couldn't earn it. And I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Look what God is doing in this ministry. Look what God is doing in our lives. I continue to watch people as they grow in the spirit. I continue to watch people transit like from egg, lava, pupa, adult. From a little shrub, God is making many of us to become giants. It does not look like it, but be patient with God and watch the wisdom, I say it again, of the ancient of days. It's a name he has to himself. The revelation of the love of God. Let's hurry up so that we can pray. Number two, the second way to be comforted, the second way to be strengthened as a believer is the comfort of scripture please write it down make sure you are writing 
Number one is the revelation of the love of God, how we are strengthened. Number two is the comfort of scripture. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Romans 15, please, and verse 4. Look up, please, if you can. And let's read together. One, two, read. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, uh -huh, that we through patience and comfort of scripture might find hope. Do you know what this means? Let me interpret this to you. The meaning of this is that there is nothing new under the sun and that the Bible has captured different experiences that can play in your life and has already given you a preview of how the end looks like. So that by the comfort of scripture, when for instance you are bereaved, you may not know if tomorrow will ever come, but you can open scripture and see someone who was bereaved and see how the person survived after it and you would draw strength from it. It's not called scripture. It's called the comfort of scripture. Job was a man in the Bible who is a classic example of a man going down to the lowest and rising back to the highest. Job in one day I'm not sure any man on earth has gone through that kind of experience. In one day, a man loses his daughters. In one day, a man loses his sons. In one day, a man loses his estates and his businesses. In one day, a man loses all of this. And then, before Job will finish coping with the sheer stress, his health is now affected. Boils begin to come. Dogs will come and lick the boils of Job. Many saw Job and said, oh dear, once great Job. And here he's sitting, only with the comfort of his wife. And watch this. God began to make a boast of Job in the heavenlies. And by the time we get to chapter 42, hallelujah, the Bible says, verse 10, that and God restored the fortunes of Job suddenly people began to come from everywhere and bring gift and the bible said all of them held a bag of money and gave him let me speak to someone the concept of things being over is not real did you hear what i said there is no such thing as it is over with god god can the worst thing that can happen is death resurrection is proof that god has conquered the power of death hallelujah Please fan your dream alive, fan your anointing alive. Get back and open the books that you wrote visions. I will be a great worshiper. I will sing to the nations. Men may not invite me now, but in the name of Jesus, I find comfort in scripture. That for a long time, David was in the wilderness, but a day came, he appeared before Saul. Your soul will call you for sure one day. So David, continue to learn how to play. They may not invite you, but stay until the season of appearing comes it is true apostle we've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb 10 years 15 years through the comfort of scripture god refers you to go to the patriarch father abraham and see what 25 years of endurance produced and when abraham finally held isaac they laughed and said all who here will laugh with me Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything yeah.
Psalms 119 verse 28. Please sit down. Want us to pray tonight? Psalms 119 verse 28. Please make sure you are writing these scriptures. You can comfort someone with it after service. You can minister to your family member. You can go and fast with this scripture and pray. My soul melted for heaviness. It says, strengthen thou me according to your word. Use your word to strengthen me. I cannot pay the rent now, but use your word to strengthen me. Use your word to strengthen me. I don't know where the finances will come from. Use your word to strengthen me. My mother has been diagnosed of an incurable disease. Use your word to strengthen me. I just lost a job. Use your word to strengthen me. I don't know how the future looks like. The word is a strengthener. It not only gives information, we find hope in it. Are we blessed? Yes. The comfort of scripture number three the third way that we are strengthened in this kingdom is by a direct impartation and an infusion of strength from the Lord directly God can stand up in his might and majesty and impart strength upon a man Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and two Ezekiel chapter 2 please and he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet and I will speak unto you verse 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me he said stand up and he said, I have no strength. And his spirit entered and speak upon my feet. And he stood. So God can directly impart and infuse strength. Second scripture, very quickly, let's hurry up. I want us to pray. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren so he's talking to believers they who are of the fold finally my brethren be strong not in your bank account no be strong not in your uncle or auntie be strong not in your pastor or prophet or apostle or teacher be strong not in your father or mother be strong not in your certificate or your gift he said be strong in the lord and in the power of his might be strong in the Lord amplify puts it in a very powerful way if you can give it to us if that is possible let's just look at amplify he said in conclusion be strong in the Lord be empowered through your union with him draw your strength from him that strength which his boundless might provides draw strength to draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again, again. I've come to draw, I've come. impartation 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 Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 we already read that scripture it's very very important you can draw strength from him 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 please let's look at it very quickly Paul was crying to the Lord and asking him for help Paul was weary and here was the response of the Lord and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for you and here's the technology for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore I would rather glory in my infirmities Paul is saying 
that the power of Christ may rest upon me verse 10 therefore I take pleasure in infirmities in reproaches in necessities in persecutions in distresses for Christ's sake for when I am weak mysteriously I am strong are we together God can impart strength upon you God can impart strength he can you can receive a surge of strength and may that happen to someone tonight that every door you have closed over your life and your destiny you will go back and say destiny let's continue from where we stopped four years ago from where we stopped five years ago let me give us the last and then we'll pray I want us to take some time to pray how are believers strengthened in this kingdom the fourth way is joy the joy of the Lord Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse strength neither be ye dismayed or sorry or in pity it says for the joy of the Lord is not will be not was is present reality your strength neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord don't pack up your life don't wrap up your ministry don't wrap up your business don't wrap up your endeavor for the joy of the Lord is your strength Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 it says rejoice in the Lord always I used to think he said always but that's not what he said always as you go rejoice all the way any road and any place you find yourself let your disposition be that of joy rejoice in the Lord always and again I repeat rejoice why because in this kingdom you see my brothers and my sisters joy is like a fetcher that is what you use to draw from the wells of salvation when you lose joy there are many things that will not come to your life in fact the Bible puts it this way it says they that sow in tears it didn't say they will reap with joy he said they will reap in joy you will eat inside a kitchen so if you are not in that kitchen there's no meal you will reap in joy Psalm 67 we'll start from verse 1 Psalm 67 God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us say amen, amen. verse 2 that thy way may be known in the earth thy saving health among the nations next verse let the people praise oh god let all the people praise thee yes please oh let the nations be glad and sing for joy for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth five let the people praise thee oh god let all the people praise thee uh-huh then shall the earth the increase that has always been there but has refused to come out that in praise and joy the earth shall yield her increase and God even our own God shall bless us listen to me you have defeated life in no small way when you master the art of remaining joyful you have defeated life in no small way when you master the art of being unperturbed by the vicissitudes of life joy all the way joy all the way you stand before the coffin with tears coming out of your eyes but you raise a song of praise and worship you go to your ATM and check and your balance is 1500 naira and it looks like you've not done anything with your life you stand before your board and you see five carryovers 
and it looks like there's no hope of moving forward please hear me hear me hear me let life always find you in joy joy is a choice joy is a choice you can choose to walk in joy it's a choice the joy of the lord is my strength choose to walk in joy let me tell you this and this is something that gradually the continent of africa and nigeria is losing because we were one time purported to be the happiest people on earth but right now the spirit of depression is just coming around horizon you see young people looking as if they are old joyless people people who look dried like a fig tree what happened why should i rejoice look at the way my life is no sir to him that is joined to the living there is hope there is reason to be joyful are you hearing what i'm saying the bible talks about people talks about all kinds of circumstances happening and people dry up because there is no joy in the midst of them when you are joyful joy brings songs of worship when you are joyful it brings expressions of strength of hope and of peace joy is so powerful that it was used as one of the indices that verify and attest to the presence of the kingdom that when the kingdom of god is in a place meaning when his will is being done it will be characterized by the tripartite realities of righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost a state of merriment a state of excitement that is based on a revelation listen to me the revelation is i will joy in the god of my salvation there is a redeemer that is coming there is the lifter of men that is coming there is the anointer of men that is coming so although the fig tree may not blossom although there may not be olives on the vine although all of these things left and right may not seem to be manifesting the way you want you draw joy in the knowledge that there is a name that god is called the god of your salvation do you know what that means imagine a house burning and while you are looking at everything born you look at it and a time will come you will stop crying and you will start finding comfort the house was insured there is an insurance company that insured the house that means now that the house is bond it is time for your insurance to speak for you you have an agreement with them that for as long as you continue to pay your premium that when a disaster strikes they will take responsibility it is a mandate they have placed upon themselves so while you are watching your house bond you are regretting what is being bond there you suddenly draw strength there is an insurance are you getting what i'm saying now that's what it means to rejoice in the god of your salvation the god of your salvation the word savior is the hebrew word jehoshua that's where you get the word joshua from the god that saves the one who saves are you getting what i'm teaching you tonight it's very very important so you stand and then you draw strength the insurance company is coming and when you call on the insurance company they come to stand and look at the building and value it and within months your building is back and not only back better what you wanted to put in before that you could not put now you have your chance you wanted to put two parlors before but the rigor of removing things now everything is burnt and now you have the opportunity to partition the house well and put the living room God is speaking to someone joy please be careful guard your joy 
the same way a wealthy person protects a Rolex in a safe. Guard your joy the same way a lecturer protects his certificate. Guard your joy the same way money is guarded in a bulk room in a bank. Protect your joy by all means. Protect your joy by all means. It is your strength in this kingdom. It is your staying power. It is the guarantee that you will finish strong. Are we together? Yes. So number one, to be strengthened. The revelation of the love of God. Number two, the comfort of scripture. You see, look up, please. Look up. If you are a believer, <coughs> if you are a believer and your word study life is not effective, please obtain grace from God tonight to take your word study seriously. Because when life squeezes you, it is, it is written that will come out. The word of God. Let it become your daily bread. Not one, one verse per day. No. You should grow past that. Sit down with scripture. Study it. It's like a deposit you are making. The day you stand before Goliath, there is a scripture. The day you stand before Pharaoh, there is a scripture. The day you stand before Saul, there is a scripture. The day Satan himself comes to you, there is a scripture. The word of God. And then number three, the impartation, direct impartation. I believe that God will do this to our lives even as we pray. A direct impartation of scripture. And then number four, joy. Koinonia, access this mystery of joy like a river. Listen to me. Please listen to me. Life, 24 hours already has by default programmed in it too many things to annoy you you will age yourself to death if you hand your life over to life to treat you you must define your possibilities the days that we live in now are days that joy must be a choice switch on your television and in five minutes you have had something that annoyed you you must choose to maintain your joy go to visit your child in school and you will see a teacher treating the child in a way you are waiting for your child to return with a white result and you will see something that does not bring you encouragement hear me any other thing you base for your joy will disappoint you it must be the joy of the Lord as your strength as God comforted someone tonight the joy of the Lord choose to be happy you receive a call from home are you aware of the the kind of i mean there's no money anywhere we are going to die and you say mommy calm down why should i calm down because god is still the monarch of the universe there is always a way out two of you cannot be under pressure you choose to be under pressure or god under pressure he says the keeper of israel the keeper of the covenant not a person that means, listen, when CGC is locked, the key is with someone. If that person does not come, we're in trouble. So when we want to access a place, the keeper of the key is important. So when the Bible said the keeper of Israel, you would think he's talking about the nation. No, Israel means covenant. There is the keeper of the covenant of my destiny. There is the keeper of the covenant of your destiny. There is the keeper of the covenant of koinonia. There is the keeper of the covenant of the prophecy upon your life. See, let me tell you this. Look at me. Satan is a roaring lion. If you allow his roar scare you, you will never be able to defeat the lion and cut the head and move. No, 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 no. Life will stand and claim bold face for you. You must sustain the intelligence in the spirit to say with joy will I draw. They see you bending for a long time and wonder what you are doing. And all of a sudden you draw out prosperity, speed, increase, 
lifting and while you draw it out people will just stand and say what is this the joy of the lord you're the god of awesome wonders i've tasted of your power much more than I deserve. Help me. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard the wonders of your creation. The words you speak, come on. The words you speak, the things around your eyes, have lifted me. You took away the chains and God that held me down. Listen to me it is in your lifetime you will build that house if it's in your lifetime a day will come you will not think about money again it is in your lifetime the anointing you seek one day you will no longer seek it because it's with you listen to me my brothers and my sisters it is in your lifetime that you will smile again there is a name God is called the God of Jeshurun he's called the one that rides upon the wings of the wind let God be true and let every man, let every report, medical report, let every system be a liar. Let God be true and let every ministry report be a liar. Let God be true and let every academic report be a liar. Let God be true and let every financial report be a liar. Let God be true. And every career report be a liar. Listen to me. Please hear me. Many years ago, I remember one day I was sitting down somewhere in the campus and I saw a plane pass and I was looking at it. And the Lord told me that the word will take you into that plane many times I believed him the Lord spoke to me that a time will come nations will come and will drink from that which he has put upon our lives I believed him listen you have gone too far with God to turn back remember Lot's wife remember Lot's wife husband and wife remember Lot's wife CEOs businessmen remember Lot's wife men and women of God remember Lot's wife that if you turn aside in the bay of battle your strength is small you must obtain grace to fight till you win you must obtain grace listen obtain grace to stand and face your fears fight and win oh they say you have cancer oh they say your genotype will never change that's nonsense obtain grace from god oh they say your children will never be responsible oh they say your life is finished see let god be true i'm teaching you how to win in life you must immerse yourself because the kinds the kinds of environment that Africa is brooding the kinds of environment that Nigeria is brooding is
pungent i say that respectfully is pungent for greatness from television to internet to everywhere there's all kinds of nonsense that jam packs your ear sometimes you need to say hey when the music fades and i simply come we must be that generation you can shut away from the noise longing just to free something that's a word that will bless your heart there are times you need to off the tv shut the laptop i'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is that what you have required it is within his power to make great and live you search much deeper within you looking into my heart you are worshiping the one who sees into the heart of man i'm coming back to the heart of worship it's all about it's all about you It's all about please listen to what you are saying it's all about you it's all about you Jesus you are still going to sing this song and then we'll pray it's nine we'll pray for a few minutes listen listen when you make it about your sickness Benny Hinn was and, and you know I, I follow him a lot and Benny Hinn was teaching in one of his healing sessions and he said he found out that those who receive from God are people who learn to forget about themselves the moment you are conscious about yourself the mountains magnify they looked unto him there was a brazen serpent that was lifted and they looked unto him Barus Kaliata and they were their faces were lightened illumination and god took shame and fear from their lives tonight we are going to sing that song again please take it high for me listen sometimes we need to remind ourselves and remind our generation that it is all about jesus and i the ministry is about jesus the business is about Jesus because sometimes you can be trying to make money and the devil looks at you and says you are a money monger you need to remind yourself and remind Satan that this is all about Jesus there are times listen to me that you will look at your children and sometimes you will put your ego on the line and he reminds you that it's not about your children it's about Jesus there is peace and rest when everything becomes about him nothing else matters nothing in this world will do listen for Jesus you're the center and everything revolves around you Jesus you Koinonia hear me when God chooses to lift you, it's a choice he made. When God chooses to honor you, it's a choice he made. God chose to speak to us that this year is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. And you may say, Apostle, we are just in November. You know how long it takes for God to do something? As long as his will allows if his will says now that's how long it will take you are willing and able please listen to what i'm telling you because you see satan is a seeker of attention satan 
is a seeker of time he seeks time using all kinds of distractions in your life and if you do not sustain the ability to set your eyes like a flint you will never be able to raise your children you will never be able to pay the bills you will never listen let me tell you see hear me when God becomes the center of your focus you keep looking at him and setting your gaze on him and you will not know when you are rising you will check and find out that you are not where you used to be again are you hearing what I'm saying now please hold the hands of someone by your left and by your right at the center of it all is you that I see is you that I see at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you it's you that I see there is power in your name ah. Hallelujah. I woke up this morning to pray at about 3 a.m. Now listen, we are going to pray. And when I woke up, I was just walking around. I was not even praying. And the next thing the Lord told me, go on your knees. I just rested on the chair and I was in the spirit. And the strange thing was, I saw the level of speed things were unfolding in people's lives just like a new season listen listen I want to hear what I'm telling you I saw people buying vehicles getting houses moving I mean listen listen I, I mean what I'm saying you know how how do I put it now um, there's this thing in a when you, you have a, a any digital device and you are fast forwarding you can adjust the fast forwarding listen to me I was in the spirit when I saw this I was watching like a drama and then every time seasons are opening one of the ways there are many ways God shows me one either in a military military attire or number two the page of a book opening and suddenly I saw the page of a book opening immediately I saw this I came back and that's why the Lord told me to bring this message let me tell you my brothers and my sisters new seasons always don't look like it but for those who have strength lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit pray Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen. We are going to pray. And the first prayer point tonight is you are going to judge God faithful. Take your eyes away 
from whatever has not happened or has happened and judge him faithful lift your voice and say lord you are faithful you are faithful both for the things you have done and the things that look like have not been Saints of God pray, mighty ones pray, those who have been favored by the ancient one pray. Faithful God, Hallelujah. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. To be faithful means to possess the quality of consistency. To be faithful means to possess the quality of unbendableness. To be faithful means to possess the quality of integrity, predictability, sameness. And there is a name God is called faithful and true. Lift your voice and say, Lord, I judge you faithful. You are consistent. I trust your faithfulness. Please help those under the anointing. I judge you faithful. I judge you faithful. Consistent. Unchanging. Unbending. Predictable. the same yesterday the same today the same forever we pray you're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh, you're the God who opens doors no man can shut.
Number two, there is only one name. There is only one name with power to say. No system can say with power to say. I'm establishing the second prayer point. There is only one name. There is only one name with power to say. Hey, with power to say. are my salvation shift me to my destiny push me to prophecy lift your voice and pray let my life see your salvation is someone praying God of my salvation and I like a mighty man that you are the God of my the God of my covenant arise like a mighty God that you are God of my lifting God of my rejoicing arise like the mighty man that you are The Bible says salvation belongs to the Lord. It is within his power to make rich. It is within his power to bless. It is within his power to lead. When God points at a man and says, This is my city to lead, there is nothing that can be done under the surface of the earth. Listen to me. Salvation does not just mean salvation from sin and Satan, it is the word soteria, it is also the word sozo. Are we together now? Soteria means to be grafted out into honor. It's a translation, a shift of realms, a shift of dimension, a shift of reality, a shift of results. Soteria. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. He says the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. It is within his power. Prayer point number three. Atmosphere. She now chains be broken. Break. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come now. Heaven open. Heaven Atmosphere. Shift. Chains be broken. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, now. 
great door and an effectual is open before me but many are the adversaries it is within your power to dislodge the spirits programmed to hold destinies the stargazers over the destinies of men it is within your power lift your voice like a priest and pray tonight i command powers i command devils spirits Pray for your business, pray for your life, pray for your home, pray for your children, pray for your ministry, pray for your career. I command forces, I command spirits, I command protection, I command manipulative spirits in the name of Jesus. Command by the power that created the heaven. look at me Satan will not fold his arms and let you raise godly children Satan will not fold his arms and watch your ministry expand Satan will not fold his arms and watch the wealth of the kingdom come upon you knowing that you have the mindset that promotes Christ Satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your marriage Satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your family you are going to decree you are going to create I like you to rebuke the devil I command these powers give way give way give way give way by the spirit Command every force that is not of the Christ over your prophecy, over your life, over your destiny. By the blood of the eternal covenant, by the name of Hallelujah. Now listen. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has fouled. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her. Frustrate him. Frustrate them. Mande kabata tabalata. Sekele bosata. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize 
their prophetic destiny. Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray, inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again. You pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break. The Lord was ministering this to me. Is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. hallelujah hallelujah look up there are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death some after two two years or three three years or by september or a particular month somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick patterns of wickedness When these limitations are broken let me tell you you will find yourself finally 
you will see that doors will now be open and do you know what listen every time you force a door to open in the spirit you bring others into that experience listen hear this do you know there are many of us here our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of this thing it's just that where they went they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break so our parents tried and it didn't work and god said you you are the one that has been chosen go go for the family go for the family many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets they have collected their money plundered them did everything nothing to show for it we hear the chains falling Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally, financially, academically, if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that i can't have eye problem because everybody has it Get angry. Shake it, ba 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 ba. Bring them, bring them, bring them in. Shira na 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 mo so na na na. Shira ba la mire ba la ba si. So para da 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 boss, le da ma si ta da da da. She Maria da boss, she da 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 boss, she le 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 boss, da 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 da. Le da da boss, le da da boss, so no da 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 da. hallelujah the angels of the lord are in this place it's time for miracles it's time for that sickness to leave your body all those outside please lift your hands just those outside hallelujah there are so many angels outside listen there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside hallelujah at the count of three you will shout jesus that fire devils will begin to cry and jump out just those outside are you ready now thank you jesus thank you for your power to heal to deliver to set free thank you for the confirmation of your word right now in the name of jesus those outside one two three shake the book of those just those outside the power of god is falling i command devils come out come out come out i command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere 
outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 hey! come out come out of them devils yokes bondages by the fire the power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus as you shout that name Jesus no instruments at the count of three no instruments just shout that name Jesus and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here are you ready now one two three Jesus. the fire of God is coming down right now mightily bring them out Please help the ushers if they need more help. hallelujah this role lift your hands the angel of the lord is standing in this role i pray right now every activity of witchcraft according to what the lord is showing me those in this row right now in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus right now one two go let it be shaken oh God now 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 now
There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. that have come out those in front here as a point of contact to those who are there by the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation by the blood now now now, 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 now I bring a separation by the blood the mystery of the blood the mystery of the blood the mystery of the blood Bring the lady. Bring her here. 
Pateke Mosha, Rosha Gata, Lindo Sopa, Supatea, Patosetelia, Atoke, Ikato Diva, Sego Pariana Siva, Peteva, Segloria Taranaba, Tebosha Kapa, Oriana Banarabaya, Ivano Sopa, Esoke Preketesha, Peketeke, Sukataba Yabata. Arosakata, Zekota Boba, Popa Liatos, Arosia Tosuka, Popa Le, Popa Le, Soriato, Akata, Braki, Patapata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the 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 God. Bring the living God. Bring the living God. Bring the God. Bring the living 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 the God. the God. Now, leave her. Kapa. Out. Sheila. Never return again. Sheila. 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 Now, all the devils here, at the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two. So go, 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 go. Out. 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 You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. 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 Be free. I set you free. Let her go now. Leave this little girl out, devil of darkness. Out, come out of her now. Come out, come out, come out. Marital delay. Give me a hand. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. 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 Now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posa. Come.
Come out now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I caused that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Panada Garanda Shia Kataka do Siza Lakataka Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka, Sete Lamantaria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of pain. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? 
Where is the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? To see back at the years. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edo. Edo State. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of the... Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick. Now come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yes. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image, he was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm here. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? To university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya, jaja. Reketera. Mambre. Tetekete. Balakata. Rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that hold oh, 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 Nene, Nene, who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit by the power of the blood. Go now! Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Oh, help me worship us. Be thou and throne and throne on high and throne on high. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high. marriage we are going to visit the issue of marriage right now please I want you to listen I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go 
now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I set you free let it leave you now let it leave you now Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout Amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life I prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like altar you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain in my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of Jesus Christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? Been drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs. Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is go and yes. bring it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names, hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't. I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe. Do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No. Sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for about two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we're outside and we shouted, Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command eyes be healed be healed now be healed be healed every blind eye open every blind eye open partial blindness be gone in the name of Jesus long sightedness short sightedness glaucoma every eye condition be healed now please be checking yourselves Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? We came together. Mama. Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes.
I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if you've seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and he went you off. saw light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then he went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses? I've been using glasses over two and a half Who knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes each. Until you use glasses. Yes. Until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small small Bibles? Read Isaiah sixty verse one and two. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine. For the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Lord, Jesus the praise. Shall the I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now. Miracles I see miracles everywhere. You were healed. Who Pastor. brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Father. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond down for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here, now. I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? 
My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you. Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again. To the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor. Okay. Because I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and do you mean today, go blank? Yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was not asking me what's wrong with me. I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, that I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes, the, you will be skipping yes, the words. Yes, I'll just keep the word. I'll go blank, and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we're praying, I laid my hands on my my hands on my eye, and then a light just just hit me, and my hands touched. Light me. again. You see and the light. My eyes got very hot, and then your I eyes it got open, hot. Yes, and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's Hanking see. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hen, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns it in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. It, okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's. I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness. So in when your I eyes. went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is. I'm not supposed to survive. That is some. Um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and got right now? So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own. Brought oh, me. your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. So my eyes sometimes used to pain. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye would be itching me. I'll okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship i want you to line up all the sick people especially if you came here from outside zaria please let's give you priority just come out quickly and then the rest join them please you came with a sick person now is the time to heal to to, uh, to for them to receive their healing very very quickly please we have a lot to do time is not on our side very quickly very quickly worship team please help us hallelujah Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. 
My Don't be distracted. My God is awesome. He can move my that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. From the rain, say, My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever He will reign. My God is awesome, my God is awesome. Sing it so song. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media